Hi to all. Today I am going to discuss chapter 5 Lines and Angles. In this chapter, in today's class, I am discussing the topic complementary angles and supplementary angles. Let me take two points A and B. Now let me join A and B. The sh shortest join of A and B we can call it as line segment. This is the shortest join of A and B. This can be written as A B and it is read as line segment A B. Now let me extend this A B beyond A in one direction and beyond B in another direction. Now it extends endlessly on both directions. This we can call it as a line and it is denoted by AB and it is read as line AB. Now let me take a portion of a line. Now it starts from a point and goes endlessly in one direction. This we can call it as a ray and it is denoted by AB and it is read as ray AB. Now let me take one more ray. Now these two rays having a common endpoint. Here A is the common endpoint. Now this figure we can call it as angle. This common endpoint is called vertex of the angle and the two rays we can call it as arms or sides. That is A is the vertex and AB and AC are the arms or sides of the angle. This angle we can return as angle CAB or angle BAC. These are all you learned in class 6. Now we are going to discuss a pair of angles. Here I drew two angles. Angle ABC and angle DEF. Measure of angle ABC is 60 degree and measure of angle DEF is 30 degree. Now you add these two angles. What will you get? That is 60 plus 30. You get 90 degree. Now let me change the angle. Here also you are getting 90 degree. In all these cases, sum of the angles you are getting is 90 degree. This pair of angles have a name. It is called complementary angles. Here angle ABC and angle DEF are complementary angles. And in this case, this angle 30 degree is called the complement of angle 60 degree and vice versa. So we can define complementary angle as when the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree, the angle are called complementary angle. Here, angle ABC and angle DEF, in all case they are complementary angles because the sum of these two angles you are getting 90 degree. You write the heading complementary angles, draw these two figure and write its definition. 
and you can note in the above diagram 30 degree angle is the complement of the 60 degree angle uh, or 60 degree angle is the complement of 30 degree angle. Now I have a question to you. Can two acute angles be complement to each other? Here ABC is an acute angle because acute angle means it is less than 90 degree. Now, now you can take the EF 40 degree. Now it can be complement 50 plus 40. So two acute angles can be complement to each other. Now what about obtuse angles? Can two obtuse angles be complement to each other? Here is two. Here are two obtuse angles. Can it be complement? In any case, it cannot be complement because sum of these two angles always greater than 90 degree. So it cannot be. Now, what about the right, two right triangle right angles? Can two right angles be complement to each other? Let me take the first one as right angle, the other one also right angle. Are these two complement to each other? No, because 90 plus 90 180. So it is not complement to each other. I have some questions to you. Which pair of the following angles are complementary? Here, first one 70, 20. Are they complementary? Do find it out. This angle 75, 25 degree. This one 48 degree, 52 degree. And this one 35 degree, 55 degree. Do write if it is complement, you can write. You add 70 plus 20, you will get 90. So you can say these pairs are complementary. This pair of angles are complementary. If it is not, you can write not complementary. My next question is, what is the measure of the complement of each of the following angle? One angle is given 45 degree. You have to write complement of 45 degree. That means sum of the angles should be 90 degree. One angle is given as 45 degree. Do find out the other angle. You can write the answer as measure of the complement of 45 degree. You can write it as 45 degree because 90 minus 45 degree is equal to 45 degree. Do find out the other answers. Here is the another question. The difference in the measures of two complementary angles is 12 degree. Find the measure of the angles. How will you find it out? You know 40 degree and 50 degree are complement each other because 40 plus 50 90 degree. But their difference is 50 minus 40 10 degree. Similarly, you have to write two angles but the difference should get 12 degree. Do find it out. Here you have two angles. Angle ABC and angle DEF. Measure of angle ABC is equal to 80 degree. Measure of angle DEF is equal to 100 degree. Now add, adding this to what will you get? 80 plus 100, 180 degree. Now let me take another pair. Here, what is the measure of these two angles? Sum of the measure of these two angles. 60 plus 120. Again, you are getting 180 degree. And if you take One twenty-eight degree and fifty-two degree angle. If you add these two, again you are getting one eighty degree. Now let me take find out the measure of this angle. What will you get? Still you are getting one eighty. This type of angles 
we can call as supplementary angles that means the sum of the measures of the angle if you are getting 180 degree such a type of such a pair of angles we can call it as supplementary angles now how can you define its supplementary angles when the sum of the measure of the two angles is 180 degree the angles are called supplementary angles as in the previous case here 142 degree we can call is call as the supplement of 38 degree or 38 degree is the supplement of 142 degree now i have three questions to you can two obtuse angles be supplementary let us check it here you see one is obtuse the other automatically it will be acute if 140 is obtuse 40 will be acute so you cannot have two obtuse angles be supplementary now you think about what about two acute angles if two acute angles if you add will you get 180 degree or can two right angles be supplementary do write the answer here two angle one pair of angles should be given pairs of angles are given you have to find out whether they are supplement or not let us look at the first question one angle is 110 another angle is 50 if you add these two you are getting 160 degree that means they are not a supplementary so you can write 110 is not supplement of 50 degree or simply you write not supplement do check the other pairs also draw these figures and write the answer here is the textbook exercise do it first question find the complement of each of the following angles one angle is given you have to just write the complement of 20 degree is equal to here complement of 63 degree is equal to here complement of 57 degree is equal to do find it out and write the answer here is the second question find the supplement of each of the following angles here you have to write supplement of 105 degree is equal to and supplement of 87 degree is equal to and so on do find out the answer here is the third question identify which of the following pairs of angles are complementary and which are supplementary you add these two angles if you are getting 90 degree as answer you can say it is complementary and if you are getting 180 answer you can write it as supplementary angles question number four and five are find the angle which is equal to its complement that means you know 30 degree and 60 degree they are complement but they are not equal you have to find out the angle both both angles should be equal and they are complement consider 45 degree and 45 degree they are equal and some you are getting 90 degree therefore the answer is 45 degree question number 4 the answer is 45 degree and 45 degree now look at the question number 5 find the angle which is equal to its supplement you have to take two angles both should be both both angles should be equal and their sum should be 180 degree do find it out yourself here is question number 6 in the given figure angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles that means some of these two angles are 180 degree if angle 1 is decreased what changes should be should take place in angle 2 so that both the angles still remain supplementary that means whether angle 2 when angle 1 is decreasing 
what will happen to N2, whether it will decrease or increase. Let us check it. Here, some of these two angle is equal to 180 degree. Now, when angle 1, that is this angle decreasing, what, are, what will happen to the other angle? Obviously, when it is decreasing, the other side angles, they are increasing. So, from our figure, if angle 1 is decreasing, angle 2 is increasing. Angle 1 is decreasing, then angle 2 will increase. So, you have to write angle 2 will increase. This is question number 7. Can two angles be supplementary if both of them are acute, obtuse, right? This already we discussed in the class. So, do write the answer. And the last question is, an angle is greater than 45 degree. Is its complementary angle greater than 45 degree or equal to 45 degree or less than 45 degree? Complementary angles means some of the two angles should be 90 degree. One angle is greater than 45 degree. Then what will be the other angle? Do find it out. That is all for today cl today's class. Have a nice day.